Hey you guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video where I prep for the Eras Tour with you guys. So in this video, I am not, I'm not going to be obnoxious like I was with my Glendale outfits. I was gatekeeping them hardcore, but my Nashville outfits, like I kind of want to just like vlog and like have a good time and you know, Glendale was like stressful because it was opening night but like now you know I'm back in like my crafting routine as silly as that might sound but you know um Glendale was like just so much of a build-up um but Nashville is my next show and I'm so grateful I'm gonna be going with my bestie Natalie and I'm so excited so debut Taylor is coming out to play for Nashville so I'm here at Hobby Lobby I got my white cowboy boots from Francesca's and I'm gonna DIY them. I'll insert a picture here for the boots that Taylor used to wear during the debut era and yeah I'm, I'm very excited. I am very nervous though because I love the white cowboy boots and I don't want to mess them up but you know I, I want to try at least. I'll regret it if I don't so I want to recreate these and I'm very excited to do that. So I need to go get some like paint. I need to get a stencil because I don't trust my own handwriting to write literally Taylor Swift on boots. Um, but yeah, I am stoked. Hopefully my next dress works because the first dress that I got, it just wasn't working. It worked except like the sleeves kept slipping off and it just, it, it was my size and like I couldn't change sizes so crossing my fingers that the next dress that I got it'll probably be here next week works because I really want it to but in this video we're gonna be a DIYing the cowboy boots um, so come with me so I don't know if I need like acrylic paint let's see it's 40% off here Hobby Lobby always has a sale okay like always has a sale Michaels does not like they sometimes do on like their home decor kind of stuff but I don't know I feel I feel like Hobby Lobby is the better deal so the lady um, I just asked and she said she got so excited when I told her what I was doing um, but she sent me to the stencils she sent me to the sealer that I can put on top of like paint um, like genuinely so sweet and so helpful. So now I need to find like the right stencil. And I've got a cart, so you know it's going down. Also, I need to look for like some things to spice up a love story outfit. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. So I'm gonna look for that while I'm in here too. And I got some beads. Um, damage has been done. I tell you what, walking around the house doing Laundry and stuff is very humbling. I'm literally in a tailor shirt flannel shorts and Cowboy boots, okay, like I got home. I got comfy Put on my comfy clothes and I'm walking around in my cowboy boots because I'm trying to break them in What a, you know what? I'm so stylish, you know Like are we serious? This is such a look. Hello you guys. It is Monday evening I've been walking around my house in my cowboy boots again, looking like I'm about to go to Texas Roadhouse for dinner. However, I am not. That actually sounds really good. Anyways, um, I feel like tonight is the night that I start DIYing these. And I'm, I'm slightly terrified. I'm procrastinating because I'm terrified. I love these boots. I'm terrified to mess them up, but like we're not just, we're just not gonna think like that, you know? We're gonna slay this. Okay, first thing I did was I drew a tiny little, with pencil, just a T and an S. I looked at the picture and I did not wanna mess up which one was Taylor and which one was Swift. The right one is Taylor and the left one is Swift. And so, I've got that down. We're not gonna mess that up. I feel like that was my first, you know what? Like even when I was doing like my Junior B Joel shirt, like I felt like I was gonna misspell something or, you know, something like that. But for this, it was, okay, which boot is which? <laughs> the right one's Taylor. I think I'm gonna do this one boot at a time. I don't know how much of a bright decision that is, but like for now, we're just gonna roll with her. Okay, the thing is, um, so I got these stencils, Hobby Lobby. Um, so the problem is the Taylor and the Swift on the boot is like, it curves up because it's inside a heart. You know, I'm terrified. 
I'm not terrified until I put until I put a speck of paint on it I will be terrified um, and I just don't know like the good thing about these is um, you can like t or no are they adhesive <gasps> they are adhesive okay I was questioning myself real quick but um I hope they're not too big I got the one inch actually I think it'll be perfect okay all right I'm really scared let's look at the small letters okay I honestly feel like either okay now I have to keep in mind like you're looking at this and like it's gonna be a lot smaller um, because it's not like the whole template it's literally just the letter I'm, I'm scared I'm gonna be honest <laughs> little like divot in the front the Y needs to hit about right here so I think I'm gonna honestly do the Y first so I can get like a, a baseline um, don't worry, I'm not touching her with paint yet. Um, I don't know why I said that so aggressive. That was literally it myself. <laughs> literally nobody else. I'm scared. I'm really scared. I just keep telling myself, wow, these letters look so big, but like, in reality, like, they're not. Okay, honestly, the fact that you can stick them on there is just, um, really, really good. Okay. I'm just, I'm going to color them in as best as I can or like just kind of like lightly go over it in pencil. So like I get an idea where to like, wait, I have my fabric marker. Rachel, you're a little goofy. Rachel's being goofy. Um, I wouldn't just jump into the fabric marker, but guess who is? Me. Hi. Okay. See, the thing is I start arts and crafts and I get really impatient and I'm like, okay, I just want it to like start coming together. Oh, right. Um, you're going to catch me on camera doing this because I can't do this alone. <laughs> Why is this more stressful than like my, um, my opening night outfits? I feel like it's because I am not going to buy new boots. Like if I screw these up, they're screwed up, you know, um, boots are not cheap at all. However, I did find these on Francesca's for like $50, which is very cheap for cowboy boots. Um, so I'm very thankful, but I'm not buying them again. So like if I mess them up to the point where like they're so ugly I can't wear them, uh, guess who literally will be wearing her Reeboks? Me. Okay. And I don't want that to happen. So I like need this like down. The thing is like I'm scared that it's going to like pop up. Um... I'm really, you know, the fact that I just said full send on this is a little terrifying to me. Like, oh, you know what? Nothing could stink worse than that, than that, uh, fabric glue. So I'm really not going to start complaining. Um, and I'm not doing this like in the best manner at all. In the slightest. I'm just kind of like trying to get a baseline idea. Um. Do you hear me? That's me procrastinating. Because if this, if I pull this off and it looks bad, I may start crying, but we're just not going to think like, wait, we're just not going to think like that. <laughs> We've got the first letter. <gasps> wait, <laughs> guys, guys, <gasps> wait, wait. Okay. 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 See, I doubt myself. Um, I'm obsessed with these and I'm scared to keep drawing on them um I just talked to Emma and she said to maybe do like the heart with like the little kind of like slash through it like the little it's almost like a ribbon kind of looking um like over the letters but here's the Taylor one this gap is really bothering me but we'll just you know it'll look fine the swift one though my hair's looking wild it turned out so good like Okay, I'm kind of obsessed um, to the point where, like, I don't know if I'm going to, like, do the full design that's on the cowboy boots. I want to, but, like, I'm scared. I'm scared. So, we'll, like, see. Um, I'm definitely going to do the heart with, like, the little thing through it, but I don't know about the rest. Because, like, I discovered I'd have to, like, stencil out a rose, and, like, that seems very terrifying. Hello, friends. So, this is part of the issue with me filming my DIY projects. 
I just start going at it. Like, I'm so serious. Like, I just pick up my stuff and I, like, start looking at it. And then all of a sudden, like, I am truly, like, just going at it with the paint. Okay. So earlier, again, sorry for this horrible angle. I was contemplating just leaving the boots. Where's my other one? Um, oh. Like, this. Because I'm petrified of messing it up. However, however, I am not the person who can just stop um, would love to be that person. Would love to just, you know, write Taylor Swift on my boots and stop while I'm ahead. However, I have a vision and I want to complete the vision. So I just, honestly, I'm not even kidding you. I was just looking at my, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to look at this fabric paint and like see what it looks like like this. And all of a sudden I grab my boot and I'm making the heart. Anyways, in conclusion... Don't make fun of her, okay? Um, she's a work in progress. She's drawing right now. But the... Stop. Okay, so this will be all filled in. Like, I can touch up, like, the side and stuff like that. And then it'll have, like, that little, you know, squiggly kind of thing. Um, like, on her original boot. Uh, and it'll look better once it's filled in. But, okay. Let me just say, if you need, like, fine, like, tipped paint and you don't want to buy paint brushes now I might eat my words I do have some paint brushes right here the tulip matte and I think they had like a sparkle one too but the tulip matte and I have like the smaller ones too for like the little colors um like the, I'll use this for like the flames if I end up doing it I will because I can't stop if I tried um they have like such fine tips that like and it comes out so fine that you just like it's so easy to direct so if you are looking um to like do anything with paint i would definitely recommend this wholeheartedly like it it really really works you guys um from what i can tell so far and i will actually try and find this on amazon and see if i can put on my amazon storefront uh for you guys because it it works really well all right, hello you guys. Another evening, another Taylor shirt. I'm sitting in my floor. I'm once again working on the shoes. This is where I am at. Um, it's more like crooked in the actual boot. However, um, I was too chicken to write the letters like that. So this is what I'm working with. Did I just get paint on myself? No. Um, I think since I really want to go ahead and like finish the heart however it's still drying so what I think I'm gonna do is work on the bottom there's like little triangles on the bottom so I think that's what I'm gonna work on now for safe measure I'm really like loving these the thing I'm most nervous about honestly is the rose but I did get a stencil but I'm scared of it like slipping and all that but that's a problem for another moment but I'm really loving them you guys, I have truly not stopped on this tonight, and I, like, need to. Um, so, I did, like, the ribbon, and then I filled in the red heart. Actually, I just did that. Like, I was sitting, um, and, like, letting it dry, and then I was like, you know what? And I dove back into my floor, and I just filled in the red heart. Um, the most trying part was the rose. She doesn't look the best, but she's there. Um, and then I hand drew the leaves. Me acting like it's Picasso, but, um, yeah. I didn't use the leaf stencil. There's a cat hair in the rose. It gives personality. I'm not touching it. Um, and then I drew the flames. Now, please keep in mind, they look crappy right now, um, to my standard, However, I'm going to add orange to it and like red and it'll look better and it'll look more flame like once it dries. I'm not going to like try and mess with it too much. Um, then I did the little triangles at the bottom. It kind of looks like a sun and so that's what I went with for my inspiration I guess you would say. Um, I did discover last night when looking at this boot very carefully, very zoomed into my laptop, um, it does have little diamond rhinestones on it, and so I have some left over, some white ones. 
I don't want to buy like a whole new kit um, when I have some that I could use. The ones on the boot look silver to me in the picture, um, but I have white ones and I think it'll just do it fine. But I'm going to put them on the sides here and then I think I'm just going to put them on the toe of the shoe. And there's a design on it, but I can't find a picture that like shows what's on this. So I think my best bet would just be to play it safe and like put rhinestones right here. Um, so this is what the Swift one's looking like. This one is by far the better one. Like, guys, it's kind of like iconic. And the problem is like I just keep going for it. Like there's no structure to me doing this. Like I'm seriously just like going for it. Um... But yeah, I'm excited to like work on the flames because that's the only part right now that's like eh to me. Um, this one, now look, this one's okay. She's a little messy on the side over here. Um, again, there's a flame, but like it'll look better once it's filled in and all that. And same for like up here. Um, this one's the swift one's definitely the better one and I know that but here's what she's looking like I did the rose up here um, let me tell you that stencil <laughs> if you if you try to recreate these boots what I can tell you is I think the best way to do it is take your stencil I got the stencil from Hobby Lobby and I cut them like to the smallest extent I held it on there and I filled it in like all the little cracks I was like pressing it say like and I was like pressing it and filling it in and once like I filled it in I took it off I lifted the stencil off and I placed it on here and let it like sink in pretty much and then I held it there for about five minutes and then I took it off and it kind of like morphed the shape of the rose and then I just drew the leaves because I was scared to mess up like the rose part so I just like free handed the leaves um but anyways, yeah, I, I really like the way it's coming along. Like I said, the only thing right now is like the flames are looking a little sketch, but like we'll get we'll get her there. I'm I'm actually obsessed. Like especially with the Swift one. She's looking really cute. And I'm my dress comes in tomorrow. And so I'm really, really hoping. Fingers freaking crossed that that dress works. They are done. Okay, I sealed them with the Krylon sealer when I got home, and I am so lucky that I got an opportunity to because, guys, when I tell you it's been so rainy and so windy here, like, I was struggling out there when I was doing it earlier. I was going to film it, but I really just wanted to, like, get in and out because it was so windy out, and I was not about to do it inside where... My family is and like my pets are like it's just not healthy to breathe that stuff so I had to do it outside but I literally was like you know what it's not too too windy at the moment so I like really like ran out there with it like no kidding um it was like an opportunity I needed to take anyways they're done I could not be more happy with the way they turned out the only thing that I'm a little it about is that gap um, but all in all, this is a close-up of them. Um, I'm no artist, and yeah, I did mess up a little bit over here, but like, all in all, I am very proud of that. Like, look at the rose, look at the, like, the lettering turned out good, the heart turned out good, and like, I combined the orange, the yellow, and the red to look more like flames. I did like, then I put rhinestones on this part of the shoe. Um, just because, like, I couldn't really tell in the pictures what it was. I think it was, like, more of this design, but I couldn't tell for sure, so I kind of did, like, my own spin on it. Um, and I did these little marks. It kind of looks like a sun, and it's really cute. And I, I, I love the way that they turned out. I was very nervous, as you guys could tell. Um, but I just stuck with it. This one is, like, gorgeous. Okay, like, I... I'm so proud of this one. And I also put like little rhinestones here and there on both of them. But this one, this, this Taylor one is like perfect. Okay. Like the flames even look like guys, I am, I hate to toot my own horn, but like toot toot like this, 
that was very cringy but like this turned out really really well I put Dr. Scholl's foot pads in here because I just don't want my feet to hurt um but guys let me tell you guys and as you guys saw I was incredibly nervous to keep going with this like I was nervous to even start riding on them because boots are not cheap the ones that I got were from Francesca's they are still on the website um, and I feel like they're just absolutely perfect but after I did like the lettering I was like okay here I go and the lettering looked so good that I was scared to continue but those tulip paints that I used where you can like really direct where you're drawing like I highly suggest those they're 69 cents I believe at Hobby Lobby um and just like stick with it like do a little bit at a time um I was most nervous about the flames and I'm no artist actually I take that back the thing I was most nervous about was the rose and they were pretty prominent in her shoes so I was like okay I've like gotta do it I can't leave them off and so I just got a stencil and it was a mess at first. Like it looked like, um, I don't even know, a blob. And then I tried it again and I kind of just like put the stencil on there and I kind of just like filled in as much as I could, like literally just holding it. And then when I did that, I pressed it for about five minutes. And so it kind of like morphed the shape and then I pulled it off and it dried beautifully. And then for the flames, I was nervous because I don't really know how to draw. However, I feel like they're, they're, they're decent. You can tell what they are. And I just kept like combining like the colors to make it more like dimensional and realistic looking. Then I used glue and I glued rhinestones on it. And then I used the Krylon sealer and here they are. I am so excited to wear these in Nashville. I feel like as a Taylor fan, like this was such like a, like a cool thing. Like even after tour to like have sitting out, like I worked my butt off on those. So <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, that's honestly like the biggest thing I DIY'd for Nashville. Like I worked a little bit on my love story top, but other than that, like I bought everything, but like DIY projects for Taylor like just fuel me and this was something I really wanted to do I knew I was like gonna regret if I didn't do it. Love you guys I hope this video entertained you in some way and let's go to the Eras tour Nashville. Um, I love you guys. I hope to see you Yes, you in the next one because Nashville content is incoming. <laughs> I love you guys